go hide. I don't know. Weirdly, <clears throat> my bitrate is like all over the place. Hopefully it kind of stabilizes. I don't know what the deal is. But hi, folks. Hope you're all doing well. I, I cranked my... um. I went down to 720. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Went down to 720p. Hopefully less P's makes for a smoother experience here. I didn't mess with much. Didn't really do anything. Haven't streamed in a while, but I don't know. Could be could be a myriad of factors. Um I'm smooth. Oh, you're smooth. Uh, Matt's here in the chat. Is the embargo up so I can formally say that this is the best feeling side-scrolling platformer since Tropical Freeze? It, it, the embargo is up. Um, so yeah, we're gonna play. Oh, by the way, new tattoo, everybody. It's been a it's been a while since you've since you've seen me. Got a new tattoo since the last time you saw me. My first ever one. There it is, right there on my arm. So whenever I'm doing the classic. Whenever I'm doing the classic, you know, hanging my arm on the chair here, you'll see a little Dragon Quest slime hanging out. Um, cool. Seems like maybe it's stabilized a little. I don't know. Um, we're sneaking in a little pepper grinder stream. Um, my wife is home right now, but she's working. So I figure we'll sneak in a little stream, celebrate the launch of the game. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, OBS cooperates with me here. Seems to be okay. I'm just watching the bitrate kind of shift around. Yeah, the embargo is indeed up. I played a little bit of it. Not much. Um, so. Yeah, the slime is going up the bandwidth. I think that's probably what it is. That's the only logical explanation. Actually, I should probably... So, tattoos are weird. When when tattoos heal, they heal very weirdly. Um, and uh, it's... Uh, it's I, I'm in a weird place with my tattoo right now. Yarden says, Morning, Seth. Hope you're doing well. Hope Eric is resting and recovering. He's doing well. Um, okay. YouTube is telling me the stream's current bitrate is higher than the recommended bitrate. We recommend that you use a stream bitrate of 2,500. That might be why I'm all over the place. Is maybe I'm maybe I'm actually maybe there's too many bits. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's what I should do is crank it down even more. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know what? Let me let me do that. Let me restart this real quick. Stand by. Sorry for the delays, y'all. Stand by. All right, we back. Are we so back? Let's see. Let's see. I think I'm back. I cranked down the bit rate to 3,000. 3, they told me it was too many bits. So I cranked it down to 3,000 bits, which is still higher than the recommended bits. So, I don't know. Let me pull up. Let me actually pull up my stream on my phone. And see, does it look like crap? Does it look alright, you guys? Do I look and sound okay? Let me know. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, I look and sound okay. Yeah, it looks good. Cool. Thank you, the Don Rob. Good to see everybody. We'll get started here in just a sec. Pardon my dust. Um, let me actually go. Yeah, and, and now the frame rate's totally stable. The the uh, the um, the no frame drops at all anymore. I don't know. Weird. Let me actually put a quick ping in the Discord. Just to say, hey at everyone, I'm live. Not I'm liver. I'm live with that. Pepper grinder, come hang out. There we go. 
Music you're listening to is Leon Chang, the great Leon Chang. Links in the description. All credit to our boy Leon Chang. One of the best to ever do it. Okay, let me get all this over here. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your patience. Been a while since I've streamed, so... Pardon my dust. Good to see you all here on this Thursday morning. It is Thursday, right? I've lost all semblance of the date and time. Is it? It is Thursday. Good to see you here on a Thursday. Hope everybody's been well. We're just going to hang out. We're going to chat. We're going to play a little Pepper Grinder. Uh, thanks to Devolver Digital, who gave us code for this. Had it for a little while. And um, haven't really had a chance to put too much time into it. But now we're going to put some time into it. We're going to hang out for a little while, baby. Strap in, baby. Um, let me pop over here. Let me turn this down. Let me crank that on down a little bit. And go over here. Where it could not be. Ah, oh, it's drilling my face. Ah! <laughs> we're going to have to figure out a good spot for this to go. For my face to go. Goodness gracious. Okay. Let me move everything over here. Listen to that music, y'all. Isn't that crazy? Alright. So yeah, I've only put a couple hours into this. Most of it spent trying to do the time trials. Let me move myself somewhere. Maybe make myself a little smaller, perhaps. Move myself somewhere a little bit more out of the way. God, there's so much going on on the UI. I don't know wh where's a good place to move myself. Is it possible that your mic balance is leaning to the right channel a little heavier than the left? Could be me, but you sounded good in Discord a moment ago. Let me see. Um... Shouldn't... Oh, you're right. What the hell happened there? You're right, Sean. Good call. All right. You are right. I don't know what happened there. Next... Oh, yeah. Make myself one of the skull coins. Here we go. You can collect me in the game. Oh, God. Where did I go? Did I make myself invisible? <laughs> Dude, everything is busted. What did I do? What did I just do? Where'd I go? <laughs> no, no, you're. I appreciate you, Sean. Dude, I don't know where I just went. I made myself so small that I blipped off the face of the planet. Hang on. Oh my god. I'm too small. Back up. Where? Dude, I can't even grab myself anymore. I'm so small, I made myself indeed invisible. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> Where'd I go? <laughs> oh no. This is what I get for trying to stream. The stream's so... Oh, hang on. Hang on, y'all. I gotta, like, recreate this real quick. Oh no. Hang on. <laughs> Maybe we just don't do cam. How about that? Maybe we do a camless stream. Yeah, that's... Uh, let me see if I can reset it. There we go. Thank you, Sean. That works. Okay. Don't, note to self, don't make yourself too small. That worked, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Okay. All right. You know what? Let me just... um. Let me just play some of the video game. How about that? Um, let me see. So I was going through, we're back. We're so back. Um, I was going through this. I don't know how many worlds there are. <laughs> try it again. Yes. <laughs> just go ahead and try it again. Why not? Just go ahead and, you know, just don't make yourself too small and we'll get it. 
Yeah, do yeah, we, we fixed it. Look. Look, we're good. It's me. I am one of the coins. Well, hello, Bowza. Good to see you, my friend. It's okay. You've you've come into a cursed stream, but that's alright. We figured it out. We're doing stuff. Um okay. Should we play a little Pepper Grinder, the hit new game from Devolver Digital that I am <laughs> promoting very well for them right now? Um, okay, Giant's Kitchen, level 2-3. So, Pepper Grinder. Find a good place to put myself here, man. Maybe bottom left? Maybe this is kind of good placement. That way, because I don't think... Yeah, I think that should be okay. Oh yeah, things are already already broken today, Bowser. Let me know how audio levels sound, guys. Let me know if anything needs to go up or down. If I'm too loud, if the game's too loud. Um, so, Pepper Grinder. Uh, I, like I said, I played a little bit of this. I'm only in World 2. Um, you play as this person named Pepper, who is a pirate. And her treasure gets stolen, and she wants it back. And that's the story. No fuss, no muss. Um... You've got this drill, and you can drill through stuff. And it's very fun and good and satisfying. Took a hit there, that's okay. Uh, let me drop that. Let me do all this here. Shoot stuff! Yes! Is there an ammo limit to this? I guess not, hey? It looks like I can just shoot this as much as I want. Oh, look at that chef guy in there. Get him. Okay, can I jump in this? I can. Oh my god. Look at me. I'm delicious. You have to hold a button to engage the drill, or is it automatic? You do, you hold the right trigger. Uh, once you are drilling, once, once you are in drill... Um, then it's automatic. From from then on, it's automatic. Um, but once you um, but but in order to engage the drill to begin drilling, you do have to hold the right trigger. Okay. Died another thing um i'm not going to claim to be good at this you can kind of uh like boost yourself out of the drill too to get yourself some extra height extra height speed distance Another thing, um, this game has got like time trials that you can do, and I've done a couple of them. Getting gold is hard. Yo. Get that guy. Get that guy. Get back in the soup. Delicious. Alright, we did it. Alright. I like the gun. I'm a fan of the gun. Whoa. That's right. These dudes. Yeah, they are. They're hard, man. Um, I've gotten, like, two of them so far, but, like, there's one where I'm, like, beyond beyond knowing, like, actual speedrunning tactics, I have no idea how I'm going to get the gold time on that. Straight up. Let me go pick the gun back up. Another thing, this is a really minor thing that I like about this game. Um, I like how... I like how everything is, like, baked into the drill. Like, I just pick it up with the drill. You look at the chunks of meat falling off of that thing. Oh, this... Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, move, move, move! <laughs> okay. Alright. Do I need to go back and pick up the gun again? Sure do. 
the nice thing is, um, oh, maybe I could have drilled through that meat. Hold up. Is that a thing? Sure can. Oh, geez. Look at that. This game's awesome. I have the gold time in the first three levels. Third level, I was getting through some of those floppy doors before they blocked me off. Yeah. That's the level I'm talking about, Matt. The third the third stage, I'm having trouble gold timing that bad boy. Oh. Okay. Another thing to look out for when y'all are playing this are these right here. These little, like, cracked walls. Yeah, drill that meat. You got that right, Bowser. Those cracked walls there, hidden in the stages. Be on the lookout for those. That's usually going to lead you to a collectible coin. Hello. Totally, total Dust Force vibes. The fact that Dust Force is not on the Switch makes me so mad, man. Makes me so mad. Are the levels good, you guys? They, they look good on my end, but does anything need to go up or down? I can never tell. All right, we got to do some meat drilling here. Oh, I love, I love just drilling through this stuff. I just made a jack-o'-lantern. That is so sick. Drilling through this junk. Okay. All right. That hurts. Sounds pretty good. Okay. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate y'all. After the way the stream started today, I didn't want to take any chances. Today, I learned that your bitrate can be too high. And that if it's too high, it will cause you to drop frames. Because it's too high. Oh, wait. I just... Hang on. There's a thing up there. Can I get back up there? Probably not. Probably have to replay this level. That's okay. Oh, there you go. I died. There's a checkpoint. Another thing that this game does, because it is a sensible and good game, unlike some other games that will go unnamed... Um, if you collect a collectible, uh, okay, that didn't even have a gold coin to it, did it? If you collect a collectible and you, like, die or leave the stage, the collectible stays collected. Imagine that. You don't have to replay the entire stage in order to get the collectible. Isn't that a neat concept? Never seen that done before. Um, oh god, okay. Also, you have to aim the gun with the same stick that you're doing the movement, so that's getting me hurt. Yeah, take notes, Nintendo. My wife and I 100%ed uh, Princess Peach Showtime. Thank you very much. It was not fun. The game itself, very fun. Like, I love the game overall um but 100 percenting it sucks like it is very not fun okay oh i can i can hold why does it oh that's yes okay good to know thank you matt oh yeah there it says it right there why aim sorry i'm dumb uh, okay, I missed something. There's probably there's probably a coin in here somewhere that I missed. What do we got? Is there a coin somewhere? Are you hiding out somewhere? Might be in the previous room too, and this wasn't paying attention. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's fine. Or it might be out here. For all I know. Yeah, it's right there. I see it. There we go. 
Look at us go. <laughs> yeah. We did it. The game is really fun, though. Um, I like it quite a lot. Another thing I should say. Um, you might notice that my, my pepper um, is not the default pepper look. You can get, like, costumes. One of the things you can buy is, like, new hair and outfits for Pepper. And I assume the drill at some point. I have not unlocked new color palettes for the drill, but I assume that you will eventually also unlock new color palettes for the drill. And I think that's pretty rad. I like that. It makes sense to have, like, different fashion options for, you know, for this, like, pirate pirate gal. Um, but for example, right, for like the time attacks, this one's a little bit more generous. Two minutes and 10 seconds. Should we try it? Let's give it a, a whirl. Not confident in my abilities whatsoever. Let's try it out. Nope. Nope. Didn't like taking a hit there. Shoot everything, shoot everything, shoot everything. No! No, get out of there! Yeah, this is not going well. This is not going to be good. Nope. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no. Okay, yeah, no, we, we're definitely not getting this time. Nope, it ain't happening. Go for it later. Yeah, give, give the people a taste of how brutal these are. Well, let me do it on a stage that I'm a little more familiar with. By the way, like the the beetle boss I missed by a couple seconds. That was annoying. Um I don't have this one yet. This one I just barely missed, I think. Did get that one. So let me let me try this maybe. Nope, not casual play. Not casual play. Time attack is what I wanted. There's a way that you can, like, if you have enough speed, you can actually skip on the water. Which is kind of nice. But I don't have the game... I'm not as... I'm not good enough at the game yet to do fancy stuff like that. Nope. Should have hit that. Like that. Oh, how did I miss that? That's annoying. Ah, oh, I'm not getting this. Also, I wonder if damage boosting through some of these would be the way to go.
Oh, oh. Man. Man. Gotta get 135. Got pretty close there, and I screwed up in a couple parts. Feel like I can do it. that up yeah yeah damage boosting yeah that's probably gonna be helpful in a lot of these I'd be curious what um what what this stream looks like going back to it after the the vods all all processed because honestly streaming um YouTube is so I've noticed inconsistent like I'll do I'll do 1080 60 streams on YouTube and it seems like, I don't know, like I'm not getting the quality out of it that I want. Um, and I used to stream in 720 60 and I stopped because I'm like, oh, bigger number is better, right? But on YouTube, 720 60 seems to be way more consistent. And I have friends that stream on YouTube 720 60 and are, and are way more successful with it like I I feel like people don't care actually all that much so whatever gets me like the better and more consistent audio and video quality I think is what I want to do problem now is I only got two hits to to take so I can't really afford to damage boost much and I don't know if that's going to hurt or help. Also, my eye is irritated right now. This is already not looking great. I've got 10 seconds. Maybe? Did I get it? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Saying hello, or secret hello, while I'm still at work. Boo, work, I'd rather be star doing. Yeah, I hear ya. How's that going, Lockleth? If you can even hear me. If not, then I'll give you a secret hello wave. Secret hello wave if I'm muted right now. Um. Oh yeah, I still need to buy the golden key for this. So this is the curiosity shop. This is where you spend those those little uh, coins that you're getting. You buy the golden key, you get a secret level in each stage. Usually this little um, this little uh, thing here has got uh, the cosmetics. I bought them all. Yeah, my, my allergies have been killing me today. And I and I took allergy pills, uh, but they are not working. Crank that music for this hidden level. You got it, dude. Let's give that music a little boost. Whoa. Okay, neon white. No! Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Is it launching me automatically or what? What's it doing? Okay.
Okay. So it's, it's, you know, you lock in and then you press it again to shoot. I gotcha. It's just all done through the trigger. Ugh, I keep trying to jump over it. What? I thought I could... Okay. Definitely thought I could hit him on his head there from below. Nope. You gotta avoid them at all costs. I mean, yeah, these are, these are Donkey Kong barrels, right? It's funny because I think that I think that the the sort of common comparison that people are making to this game, Super Nintendo Dad's loving this game, good to hear it, uh, is like Drill Dozer. It's really nothing like Drill Dozer, other than the fact that like there is a drill. And this is a Donkey Kong Country game. This is Donkey Kong Country with a drill. Oh man, you can pop the balloon, that's awesome. That's so sick. Yeah, like the like I feel like that was what everybody was kind of saying and maybe even like expecting when looking at it. <clears throat> that just like, oh, this is an this is like a drill dozer spiritual successor, and it really isn't. Is very Donkey Kong Country. More so, I would say more so even than... Like, more so even than games that are sort of touted as being Donkey Kong Country clones. Like, even more so to me than something like Kaze. Like, Kaze... Don't get me wrong. Kaze does have a lot of Donkey Kong flavor to it, but... This, I feel like, is even more so than even that. Even though it doesn't carry, like, that same visual aesthetic I feel like people's read on some of these games are just very like surface level you know okay not oh god <laughs> gotta keep my drill pointed up so I don't pop everything Jesus I think we just want a new drill dozer, so that's where it came from when it was first shown. Yeah. I no, like don't get me wrong, I love drill dozer. Um, and I was also one of those people, like when when I first saw the trailer for it, I was like, oh. Like somebody's making a new drill dozer thing. And um that was my read on it too when I first saw it, but having actually played it now, uh, it is nothing like drill dozer. Okay, I'm having a hard time with this. Jesus. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, and, and what's weird, though, is I feel like Kaze, Kaze kind of taps into both, though, right? Because, like, I wouldn't say that Kaze has set pieces necessarily, but, like, Kaze definitely has, like, moments that it tries to create around the, uh, the masks. Um, not to the same degree as... Tropical Freeze, or something like this. Okay, I missed something, probably down there, honestly. I bet if I went the... Going the top route, I thought was the, the right call, but I don't think it actually was.
Let me bring that back down to where it was. So I don't accidentally drown myself out later. Whoops. No! I keep wanting to hit B to, like, dash. Wow, I'm still taking damage from, like, the propeller, I think. Man. How many, um, how many worlds is this, Matt? Because I think Matt was saying, like, oh, yeah, you can get through this in, like, four hours. Yeah, nope. God, why did I do that? I knew that wasn't going to work. What? Four worlds? Okay. Okay, yeah. Pretty pretty short and sweet. Would not say no to... Well, that's not going to matter anyway. <laughs> okay. I was going to try to go down there and get some health, but that's all right. We're, we're good. We're thriving. Nope. Jesus. The balloons are just not... <clears throat> they're not... They're, they're hard for me to wrap my mind around. <clears throat> They're giving me trouble. I think it's because, like, you have to... Like, how, how you have to, like, keep yourself, like, kind of aimed upward while still trying to bounce. Oh, Jesus. Also, you got these jerks. Feels great though, HD rumble is really good. Okay. So I think going this way. Yeah, okay. Thought so. I was like, the coin I missed has got to be there. Cool little final set piece. Very good. It never lets up on the energy it starts off with. Yeah, that that's the big thing. <clears throat> A game being, you know, short is totally fine. Um, but just, like, keep the momentum going through that runtime. That's what you want. As long as you keep it up. Um, all right. Let me see here. All right. Let's move on. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go for time trials too much on this stream, but as long as I can 100% the levels um, <clears throat> as we're going through, I'll be happy with that.
See how you can skip over the water like that? Isn't that cool? Yeah, they introduced a lot of new, like, stage gimmicks. Um, this one's is you can get these, like, hook points, these, like, little grapple points. You press Y and you grab on to the little points. Feels pretty good. Nope. Avoid these weird sharks. It's gonna create some magma. Some magma. You gotta imagine there's a way to skip all that, right? To skip that entire sequence. Alright, I'm trying to remember where the thing I'm missing even is. Let me not run straight into the fire here. This is such a cool idea. Look how cool this is. It's not that. Oh, I'm at the, like the end of the level. Okay, so I, it's probably way back, way back there then. Okay, I didn't realize I was that deep into the level. I felt like that went by so fast. Let me just collect those coins and then move on to the next thing. Um. Is this game made mainly by one person? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think they're primarily a solo dev. Try to keep my eyes peeled for where this... Oh, you know what? I bet it's up there. Hang on. Did I go over here? Okay. Nope. I got that. Possible that it could be somewhere down here because I usually just skip all this. Yep. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, because the, um, the opening credits of the game uh, say that person's name. I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, but yeah, I think, it's, I think it is primarily a solo dev. Very cool, man. Impressive, uh, impressive solo dev effort, for sure. I kind of like um, this sort of like, I don't know, like th there's a certain like devolver flavor of like short satisfying experiences like this. Gunbrella last year I think was sort of in this vein, but Gunbrella obviously much more like narrative and story focused than this I guess is. Come on now. Okay. That's funny. Come on. Also, this dude 
is very good. Just this, this mole with like a straw hat is very good. Shout outs to him. All right. We did that. All clear there. Is there actually like a... Whoa. Did I full clear all the levels in in this one? I think I did. I just want to make sure before we move on. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's go here. Two, four. I mean, honestly, it's, it's possible that we beat the game on this stream today, to be honest. It is very possible. We might just do that thing. We might just have that dog in us. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, sick, okay. That's cool. That's really neat. I for sure have already missed a collectible. There's no way I haven't. Nope, that was the first one. Hell yeah. Nope. Thought there was going to be a coin up there. There was not. Whoops. <laughs> My wife was watching me play this yesterday. The, the first boss is a beetle. She was upset that I had to fight a beetle. She did not like that. My wife is a fan of bugs. She was not a fan of me having to do that. Any game where you're forced to like do harm to animals, she's not a fan of. I remember um, when I was playing Far Cry 5, you have to uh, a big part of, of Far Cry, just in general, is, like, killing animals and using their, like, parts to make things. <laughs> um, and one of them, her favorite animal is the rhino. And one of them was like, you have to kill, <laughs> like, X amount of rhinos <laughs> to make, like, a wallet. She was not a fan. She didn't like that. Oh Jesus. Yeah, she was not she was not crazy about that game in particular. Oh Jesus, did I not okay. Yeah, my um my wife collects like bug taxidermy. Like she likes she likes dead bugs. <laughs> she likes the, the look of bugs more so than like if we see a bug in person, she's not going to, like, chase after it. But, um... But we do have a bunch of dead bugs in our house. That is a fact. mother of my children saw me play Shadow of the Colossus. She said if I needed to kill them uh, to bring her back. Yeah. Yeah. I also feel... Jesus. Um, I don't know. 
on one hand, I kind of get it. On the other hand, it is a video game, y'all. You know? But, with that being said, like, I, I also can sympathize because, like, I will never play Stray. That's just not gonna happen. Okay, alright. Uh, that, that ain't in the cards for me. <laughs> I can't deal, even if it's fake, like, like, as much as I can sit here and be like, Oh, it's just a video game. Um, even if it's fake, I need to not do a big boost out of that. Um, I can't deal with cats dying. Can't deal with it. Won't deal with it. Refuse. Oh, hey, there you go. That would have been smart. Hey, look at us go. Alright. Um, so this will create a little platform there, and we can use it to jump right into that, right into that dude's bullet. Ow. I'm on the lookout for a cracked wall. I feel like there's got to be a cracked wall in here, right? Yeah, there it is. It's up there. I see it. Hey, we did it. probably lotion my tattoo here in a sec. I don't know if it comes through. Hang on. I don't know if this comes through on the video. Um, the... Like, the way tattoos heal is weird. Because it almost heals like a sunburn. And... After you, like, clean it, they put, like, this weird... You get the tattoo, they put this weird... It's called, like, second skin or something on your tattoo. It, like, coagulates and pools your blood plasma on top of it. It looks so gross underneath the second skin. Uh, you keep it on for a few days, then you wash it really, really good. And you're supposed to keep washing it for, like, multiple days. Then it starts to heal like a sunburn. Like, it starts to flake and... Like, you got dead skin come off, coming off of it and stuff. And while that's happening, it's sort of like... Um, it's it's sort of like uh, exfoliating your skin and bringing, like, the ink to, like, the top of your... It's very strange. But anyways, while it's doing that, you gotta get a little Lubriderm. And you gotta... You gotta kinda... Lotion that bad boy. And get some of the dead skin off. And yeah, now I got a little slime on my arm, and I just look over at him, and he makes me happy to look at him. And I like him a lot. Bugaboo Pocket is a game about raising and learning about bugs in the cabin. Is that that one, um... Is that that game... Let me Google this. Oh, I bet. Yeah, Bowser says, dude, I'm shedding green skin glitter all over this house. I bet. Yours is a back tattoo, though, isn't it, Bowser? Do you have to just have your husband, like, lotion it down? Because it, uh... I imagine... Oh, so funny story. Speaking of lotion. Um... When my wife first moved in with me, uh, we went somewhere. I don't remember where. And... We, uh, I got sunburnt, uh, wherever it was that we went. And I came back with sunburn, like, all over my back. 
I don't remember if we were just like swimming in the pool or what. Wherever we went, I had my shirt off. Um, and I got a sunburn all over my back. And we, uh, <laughs> we, I, I came in and I asked her to put lotion on my back. And she had this scented, like, lotion. This, like, citrusy scented lotion that she put on my back. One of the most painful things that has ever happened to me. It felt like she was rubbing acid onto my back. Scented lotion on a sunburn. And so they told me when I got this tattoo, they were like, no scented lotion. I was like, yeah, I know. And <laughs> and, they, and she was like, don't use petroleum-based lotion either. Use like Luberderm. I'm like, perfect. I have been a staunch Luberderm user for years. I use Luberderm every day. I already got plenty of it. Trust me. My face gets really dry. That's my big thing is like, the rest of my skin's actually fine, but my face gets really dry. So I'm, I'm lubriderming up multiple times a day already. So now you basically just add my arm to the lubriderm rotation for whatever, a few weeks. So she told me she still has that lotion. And I told her that I would recognize the scent of it in a minute. Uh, so we want to, at some point, do a blind smell test to see if I do indeed remember the scent of that lotion. I bet I do. I bet you anything I do. All right. Boss. Magma worm. It's like, it's like a core memory, dude. It's, um, it hurts so bad. Oh, look at those little dudes in the background. Oh, snap. Oh, Jesus, okay. You do have to, it seems like, hit him from, like, directly. You can't, like, you, you have to, like, kind of go straight up on him. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was in the middle of talking about that. Bugaboo Pocket. Is that that one that, um, like, it's kind of like, it's set up like a Tamagotchi? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Like, it kind of looks like a Tamagotchi. Because when, when I saw... Um, when I saw the trailer for that, I literally sent it to her. Because I think she would love that. That is coming to Switch, I think, right? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I thought so. I thought that sounded familiar. Okay, can't attack him when he's using that. Good to know. Ow. Oh, I can actually, like, kind of re-engage the drill a few times. Whenever I'm up there, I can get a couple hits on him. Oh, hey, we actually get a health pickup in this boss fight. Nice. Ow. Okay, we almost got him. It's coming to Switch. I recently played the demo on Steam. Feels like it's going to make a great handheld game. Yes. The trailer looked great. I remember seeing the trailer. I thought it looked awesome. Oh, 
he was like right there. Okay, I gotta not run straight into his drill. Pro tip from you boy at all end. Do not run straight into the enemy's weaponry and you'll be in good shape. Get that before getting hurt. Yes, I can. Great. Let's go. That's very good. Love when a world prepares you for the boss fight of that world. Yeah, me too, definitely. Also, I would have gotten the time attack for that. If I was on time attack mode, I would have gotten the time attack for that. Almost makes you want to redo it. Maybe we will. Who's going to stop me? I make my own rules. Whoops. Not crazy how it continues counting the time even when the boss fight is not happening. Like in the little intro animation, like don't count down the time now, you know? Nope. Wow. That would have been good. I'm also getting hung up on these little platforms a lot. I understand why they're there, and I'm glad they're there. However, I'm getting hung up on them quite a lot. So I gotta be cognizant of that too. Nope, ouch. <clears throat> This'll probably be a death. Yeah. I don't like getting hung up on the start there. I don't like that.
Got him. Minute and one second. Got him. Great job calling your own death. Yeah, be like that. There's one thing I know. It's when I'm going to die. Check that out, man. Pretty good. All right. Let's do this. World three. Oh, snap. Oh, wait, hang on. There's probably something down there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, nope. Okay, but there's definitely something down there, so hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold up. Okay. We got it. snap we're combining nope <laughs> we're combining um stage gimmicks here you love to see it if i can actually aim myself correctly This seems to be the day of shorter games. You got this and open roads. Yeah, I want to play open roads really badly. I'm a huge fan of Fulbright. Um, I love Gone Home. I love Tacoma. <clears throat> you guys can't see it. Uh, it's off cam. But I've got a signed print of Tacoma uh, on my wall in my office. Like, y'all understand. I was a Fulbright fanboy. Like when they first started doing stuff, I uh, I was huge, huge, huge uh, into Fulbright <clears throat> because this is before actually even Gone Home came out. <clears throat> uh, Steve Gaynor, uh, who actually left Fulbright due to some uh, weird stuff, I guess that was going on with him. Um, oh Jesus. Uh, he, uh, he used to be on a podcast that I really loved called Idle Thumbs. And so when Fulbright and Gone Home were kind of first kicking up, I knew about it from that and was very excited, uh, about the game. And I've been a Fulbright fan ever since. And I think that, like, Fulbright itself is now, like, St just Steve Gaynor. Like, I think he's retained the Fulbright. And I think the, like, the team that made Open Roads is now just, like, the Open Roads team. So that whole situation is just kind of unfortunate. But, uh, but regardless, I do, I do really want to play Open Roads. There we go. That is on my list for sure. Do we know how long Open Roads is, Super Nintendo? Have you heard anything about that? Part of me kind of wants to like try to squeeze it in. I almost feel like my wife would like it. There's a part of me that wants to try to squeeze it in while she's here. Mm. 
definitely something down. Oh wait. Oh no, hang on. It's probably down here. Yeah. Also on Game Pass between two and three hours. Yeah, that's perfect. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll grab it and maybe it's something my, my wife and I can play through together while she's still home. That'd be cool. Brittle Glacier. So far, both bosses, by the way, have been bugs. Can I get this guy? Yeah. <gasps> oh, God. Hang on. What? Yes. How do I... How do I... Can I jump with it? Hell yeah. Oh, what? This is sick. Oh, man. Yes. Okay. I feel like there must have been stuff back there, though. Like, if you... If you do that on foot, you'll, like, find it. Oh, hang on. We'll find out. Yeah, there's definitely something back there. I thought that was a cracked wall for a second. Let everything come back. One thing I really like uh, about this game is I like that it doesn't forget about its mechanics. Like, I like that it's continuing to use gimmicks and mechanics and stuff from previous uh, worlds. I like that a lot. Oh, it's ex is explicitly not an on-foot token. Okay. Thank you. That does save me some time. Let me just let that... Yeah, let me let that just come back naturally. Not be an idiot. It's also on Switch in case anyone wants to grab it there. Oh, Open Roads? Yeah, that's where I'll be playing it. Yeah, no, you're good. I knew what you meant. Whoops. That wasn't good. Ta-da. All right. Ah. Get rid of that. Ooh, look at all this.
I love this. I love like the crumbling ice. Very good. Very cool and uh, and satisfying to carve through. Now I want to get up there. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We gotta go back. Oh, but how do I get him up here? I see. There must be some kind of way to get enough speed to... No, 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 not yet. Not yet. There we go. Hmm. Oh, you probably just do that. Okay, hang on. Yeah, okay. Nice. <laughs> Should probably jumped out of that. That's fine. Everything's fine. was coming. Okay. Sorry, something back now. Had to, had to run to the old Shopper's Drug Mart. Welcome back, Sean. Hope you had a good time at the Shopper's Drug Mart. A Canadian staple. No! Okay. Saved it. Whoop. Nope. Okay. Okay. You know what? Let me just actually just do this. <laughs> Pick up some prescription for Ellie and some bread. Yeah, I hear ya. And also some tea for me. We love a good tea. What kind of tea do you get, Sean? I love a good tea. Yeah, I, uh, I'm with you, Sean. I want to get all of the stuff. And not, and not bump into mines. If I can help it. Good. Okay. Up, up, up. I'm just I'm bee bopping and scatting all over the place, you know. Bee bop bop ba da boop. Bop bop ba da boop. Brr, bee bop bop ba da boop. I'm the scat man. This is fine. This is fine. This works. This is good. This is fine. Got it. Okay. Okay, we're good. Hey, look at us go. <laughs> Are you playing as Amanda? Everybody's Amanda. Amanda is in every game if you merely if you merely look. Uh, picked up some lemon ginger tea because of course I wake up with a sore throat again. Um, my wife's been dealing with that. She's been dealing with the old sore throat. Down here, the weather has been very, like, um, fluctuating. Uh, it's been, like, cold nights, warm days, you know? Very, very difficult to keep up with. 
Okay. We need to find this first coin and then bounce. That's the only thing I really care about. Uh, I'm wondering... Oh, I see what I have to do now. I know exactly what it is, Matt. I know exactly what it is. Sick. <laughs> this game's awesome. Hey, Eric. Eric's here in the chat. This is just so fun. I love this. I don't need to complete the stage again, but I just want to kind of do this. This is just so good. <clears throat> so good. Uh, okay, we can we can exit the stage. It's fine. Um, okay, that was everything there. Let's go to the shop. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the key, buy the sticker page, buy some new outfits. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty good stuff. Um, yeah, we're going to buy it all. Then we'll take a look at it later. The Gachapon, um, so all the coins that I'm picking up, all the gems and whatnot, I can spin the old Gachapon, get myself some additional health, which is kind of neat. Pretty good, right? So now I've got, like, basically twice as much health. Um, I can also do these 100 gem Gachapons for stickers. So, you can unlock that. That's pretty cool. Uh, I can bring up the sticker pages by pressing Y. I can go in here, access a bunch of stickers. So, that's pretty cool. I'm assuming, Matt, you can tell me if I'm wrong. These three slots are drill slots, yes? I have to imagine these are drill slots. But maybe you unlock them by doing certain tasks versus buying them. Like, I wonder if you get a drill for, like, one drill for, like, beating the game, one drill for doing all the time trials, one drill for, like, 100%ing coins, maybe. Right or wrong? You can let me know. I feel like that's got to be what this is. Because I feel like the, the final, like, World 4 is going to give us six more things to buy. And then three unlockable drill customizations here. That's how I feel. Are you back home, Eric? Did you make it back home? <clears throat> but none of them have been drills. Interesting. So the drill is always going to be red, huh? Damn, that sucks. Yeah, so get get all settled in, Eric. For sure. Love you too, bud. Glad you're out of there. Glad you're feeling all right. Kind of like the black and red hair, to be honest. Kind of like this setup right here. All right, so this is the, this is the secret level. Good, well, I'm glad you're home. Oh, this is sick, okay, this is awesome. I already, I already love what's happening here. Yep. Yes, this is so cool. Okay. Ah, oh, there, sh there should have been something up there. I, what a missed opportunity to put something up there. Ah, oh, so neat, dude. It's so cool. What a cool game. I don't want to miss anything.
Make sure I behave. Hang on now. I've never been known to misbehave. And that's on God. And that's on God, you know? Alright. What a cool stage. Dude, they could they could have made a whole game just out of this. Like this mechanic right here. Could have been a whole game. Straight up. Yeah, that's right. It requires too much focus for bad things to happen, to be honest. Too much going on. Oh, Jesus. Just too much going on, you know? I'm so glad that people can make games like this, man. I'm so glad that there's room for this. Well, we missed one somewhere. Hang on, let me go back down here and make sure. Yeah, okay. Trying to keep an eye out in my periphery for cracks in the wall or areas up there that are pretty clearly where there's gonna be a collectible. If I quit screwing it up, yep. Yeah, very neat. Also, I'm waiting on the mole boss. Like we, we've seen so many like mole characters. I feel like there needs to be a mole boss somewhere. It's such an obvious thing to do like the driller nose mole or the, the driller hands mole, you know? Although we did just get a Driller Hands boss, so maybe Driller Nose is more appropriate. I also like how, um, I don't know if this makes any sense at all. I like how, uh, organic it feels. Like, I, I, um... I feel like I'm just kind of like surviving like a world. I guess. I don't know. I recognize how stupid that probably sounds, but I feel like I'm just like making my way through a world that I'm surviving versus things being mechanically like sort of laid out for me doesn't even necessarily feel like the bosses of the game are like working for the antagonist or something you know like they're just kind of there and there's something about that all right the the third um it's got to be around here somewhere i think oh you know it's probably up here yeah I just saw that little ledge. I could just quit out of the level, but this level's so cool, I kind of just want to play through it because it's cool. And not bump into every mine on my way up. Very good. What do we have left? Just the boss? Is that what's going on? 
Breaker pass. Oh, no, we have a couple levels left. Okay, good. No coin up here, eh? Oh no. Okay, so you'll freeze. If you stay in there for too long, good to know. Already missed one. I feel like I usually miss the ones at like the start of the level. But, you know, if the levels are good and well made and fun, then I'll want to replay them. If I miss a collectible. You hear that? It's Sonobe Ibishu or whatever the dude's name is. <gasps> From Goodfield. Um, whoa. It seemed like there was maybe something up there. Is that right? No. Just the camera kind of bugging out when I get up there. Oh, this is neat. Oh god, it's getting scary. I was just watching, I kid you not, last night uh, we were watching a David Attenborough narrated piece on like the weird monster sea creatures in the Mariana Trench. So this is perhaps too real for me right now. Missed another one. Damn. Get out of here. Okay, hang on. The ocean is absolutely terrifying, y'all. Absolutely terrifying. Can I do something to this guy? Oh, snap. Nice. That's cool. I can, like, yank him out of there. dude. I wish I could hop in there. Like, I want to shoot some of that.
Whoa. Oh, that's interesting. I think because... Oh, okay. Yeah, I think because I was still, like, holding down the drill, I did not stop on that platform. I, like, kept drilling through. That is kind of neat. Alright, I missed one somewhere. I mean, I missed a couple somewhere. But there should be one towards the end of this level somewhere that I missed. Hmm... Almost wonder if I can launch myself across. Is that anything? Nope. Sure ain't. You can't stay in the water for long. I haven't noticed any cracked, like, ice walls. Missing something somewhere. See if we can figure this out. Okay, there was definitely a spot up here, but I didn't see a coin there. Felt like there should be a coin there. But no coin. I imagine that none of the... Oh, there's a gem right there. That's probably the first one I missed. Okay. Probably just gotta get enough momentum off of that. just about get there, but not quite. Maybe there's a better way up here. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can just jump straight up there. Got that. Alright. So we missed... I think the second one is up here. Yep. So next one should be around these parts somewhere. Keep my eyes peeled. Yo, what up, Wilk? Good to see you, dude. Hope you're doing well. Just playing some of that pepper grinder, you know? On that grind set. Finding our way. I, You know, I wrote that off earlier, but maybe that is a thing. Maybe there is something up there.
It doesn't seem like it. The camera's not really... I mean, there is, so there is like, a spot there, but I don't know if I can get to it. Love to see it. Like, you can... All too late now. Unless I die, I guess. Respawn up there. That can't be where it is. I don't think I can get up there. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I can get up there. Yeah, we're grinding that pepper. We're on that grind. You know how it is. Right now we're on the hunt for collectibles, to be honest. Looking for that coin. Here we go. No! Jesus. Almost killed myself getting after that coin. Alright, so now we just need the one that I assume is near the end of the level that we did not find earlier. And it could be that's another situation where it's like, you know, let me hit this checkpoint. Because it could actually be another one where it's like in the water. Nope. It's not there. Um, oh, here it is. Got it. Too easy, you know? Uh, we're at the end. We might as well complete the level. Might as well go ahead and wrap her up. Are you picking this up, Wilk, or what? You can get this on your old Steam Deck. Think you might like it. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. And also kind of nice to play like a... Uh, um, What's what I'm looking for? And I don't... Yeah, Steam Deck, yeah, I figured you'd go for that. Uh, it sounded way more derogatory than I meant it. <laughs> like, yeah, you would. You would get it on Steam Deck. It runs great on Switch. Um, uh, I like that it is not narrative heavy. I, I like that I don't really have to think about a story. I, like, I love story in games. I'm a very, like, typically narrative first... Uh, person, but I do kind of dig that this is just like, hey, you're just going to play a really good sort of mechanical experience, you know? So, it's no Paper Mario 64, but what is? I agree. Very few things are, you know? All right. I was wondering when this dude was going to come into play. This old this old Cyclops dude. Oh, what? Oh, snap. Let's go. Listen to that. Pyramid head.
<laughs> I love <laughs> I love that y'all love that. I'm excited to talk about it. Maybe uh, maybe I won't be the one on the fringe. Maybe this will be the like reverse Alan Wake situation. If you know what I'm saying. If you know where I'm coming from. Oh. Uh. Music on this stage is sick. Whoa, what? Oh, hell yeah. He's my buddy? Oh, dude, I'm so glad that he's my buddy. I thought he was going to be a bad guy, but he's actually my buddy. Hell yeah, dude. was a little off there. Okay, sick. Something y'all should know about me is I love, like, trumpet or, like, horn tracks. Y'all should just know that about me in general. One of my favorite things, one of my favorite pieces of music ever, my, my, one of my favorite little, like, musical passages is the descending three-horn note in Donny Hathaway's This Christmas. And that was when I learned that I'm just a, I'm just a horn, a horn-loving dude, you know? Quit distracting myself. I'm a fringe guy. It's okay for me to be on the defense. I've done it my whole life. Yeah, yeah. I know you've been you've been out there fighting your whole life. Being on the fringe, being on the outside, with those hot hot takes. Somebody, you know, somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to say the things that others are too afraid to say. So I'm glad it's you. Update the Wikipedia, yeah. Yeah, update the, the Seth wiki to say that Seth is a known horn guy. Um, let me actually, I wonder if, can I still jump when I'm aiming it? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> yeah, ca carrying a cross produces good quads, I hear. Y'all think Jesus was, like, ripped? low-key ripped. Uh, maybe I can... Can I actually charge and... Let me try this. Yep, sure can. Well, that's fine. We'll take the hit. We'll can't be the only one taking the hit. We'll take the hit, too. Hey! Oh, God. Oh, wow. Okay. We're in his head. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm glad... I'm glad he's my buddy. Still glad he's my buddy.
<laughs> there has got to be a... There's got to be a shirt. Like a... Like a, you know, like a, a church shirt or something that says like... That says like CrossFit, but it's like a... Like a biblical cross. That must exist, right? I see the, uh, I see the, I see where I need to be. Yeah, lock in. Yeah, I'm cross training. I'm cross training too. You know? But are you but are you cross training but my brother in Christ, are you cross training the right cross, you know? Hold up. I see something happening here. Whoop! Okay. Alright. Ew. Why did the checkpoint have to be inside that dude's ear? You know how, um, how people call, like, uh, you know, like, like gym bros, you know, if it's like hyper Christian, are they gym brothers? <laughs> Not gym bro, gym brothers. feel like hang on I almost feel like it might be better to oh the coins not even down there is that that must just be there for like speedrunners to skip that portion well, now I definitely want to try it out that's just like a built-in skip is all that is Okay. Sometimes the joke can just be about making the joke, you know? Yeah, that's definitely just like a skip that's in place for speedrunners. Although, I feel like you could probably make that without it. Yeah, Jesus. Like, I don't even know that I necessarily need that to make that, uh, that jump, but it's fine. I'm not going to try it. would rather just get through the level. Thank you very much. My buddy. Well, that works too.
All right. So, Mince Convoy. Let's do this. Oh, the boss's name is Mint. I'm Pepper and she's Mint. Very good. Oh, this is so sick. This is so cool. Come on, do it again. Yeah. Here we go. She tosses you extra health. Well, what? That was crazy. Wait, what? <laughs> Everything is broken right now. You see this? This is hilarious. Everything is broken right now. Well, uh... <laughs> I am hardcore glitch. I can't even do any more damage to her. I assume because she... Once you get to her to half, she's probably going to go into another phase. That is so funny. Right, that's fine. It happens. Let's do this. <laughs> I think it's so fun to give you, like, a courtesy health. I also, I love it when a boss, like, has the same tools you do. Like, the fact that she can also drill is very good. Dang. Man, that's weird how that hit me. I gotta get used to her, like, hitboxes. Because there'll be times when she's drilling under the ground and I feel like I'm out of her way, but I'm not.
Like right there. Felt like that wasn't a hit. It was. Ugh. Okay. Also, kind of, I'm seeing now that I can like watch her arms and see when she's about to start drilling down. So that'll be good. All good, dude. Thanks for coming through. Thanks for hanging out a bit. Appreciate you. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to wind up finishing this on stream. So that's cool. We'll probably go ahead and do the, the last world after this. And that'll probably be that. Might as well just restart this. This, this has been a terrible run. Yeah. See, like stuff like that, I'm like, I felt like I should, I should have avoided that, but. Man. All right. Wow, that hit me, huh? Can't stay straight up over her. Gotta do like a little swan dive over her will not work out for you well if you do. Ugh. I don't want to restart the whole stage, though. I don't want to do the whole beginning bit. Might as well just run into her, let her kill me. <clears throat> I want to restart just at the boss fight. Yeah, you gotta do that move right there. If you stay right over her, she's gonna. You're gonna get got.
No! It's a bad move. I'm about to say, I keep thinking she's gonna drill down, she doesn't. There she goes. No, that was it, that was the run. Damn. Wow, that hit. Gotta be careful about, like, being drilling while she's drilling. You wanna, like, be positioned to the point where you can get above her because otherwise you're gonna wind up with a situation like I just had just there where she's gonna, she's gonna get you. What kind of sucks is it doesn't look like you can um, damage her that same way. Like, if I drill into her underground, I'm not damaging her. Big hitbox, too. getting got by that dude and see like right there I thought I was gonna take a hit and didn't it's kind of weird a little hard to tell what is uh what's gonna hurt and what's not. This is definitely the run. Let's go. This is it, this is it, this is it. Get her.
Nice. Eleven twenty-seven. I bet that was the par time. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, this is World Four. This is the final world. Uh, let me go to the store real quick. We did it. Thank you. Thank you for believing in me this whole time. First try, too, by the way. So that was crazy. Couldn't believe that. Buy up these sticker pages. All right. Go through all this. Here for the grind. What's up, blah, blah, blah. Good to see you, buddy. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well. We're on that grind set. Final world of the game, by the way. So if you don't want, like, spoilers or whatever, you have been warned. Uh, although... To be honest, the game doesn't have much, like, story to speak of, but if you don't want to have, like, the levels spoiled for you, I get it. All good. Whoops. Screwed that up. Yo, those dudes can take some hits. Nice. That was cool. Ow. Fell right into that. Yeah, things have been... Streams have been stable since we uh since we put it at the recommended settings so probably rock with these from now on to be honest the only thing that kind of sucks um about streaming at 720 like it's nice because it's more consistent um but the only thing that sucks about it is uh i have to whenever i'm recording videos i have to make sure i remember to Put it back at 1080. It's like two different settings, you know? Because I want recorded videos to be at 1080. I don't care if streams are at 720, but recorded videos should be at 1080. Man, it's hard to, like, differentiate the, uh, weight of that, huh? Let me go this way. Well, that dude died in one hit. Man. I don't know if you just gotta angle the drill right and, like, hit them on their body. Might be a thing, I don't know. feel like I can probably get up there. feel like there might be something up there. You can get so close, you know? Well, maybe not. Maybe there's nothing up there. I don't know. What do I know, dude?
But if I hit a third one here shortly, then you'll know. Also, is this the way I'm supposed to go? Sure seems like it. Yeah, see? Hit a third one. So I bet you can get up there some kind of way. Oh no, there's the third one right there. Okay, cool. Get rid of these. Get rid of these jokers. Or the the second one rather. All right. Back on that grind. Here for that grind set. Cool game, man. I like it. All right. Oop. Okay. Well, hit hit all that. That's fine. Head this way. I feel like there's got to be something over here, right? Okay. I'll remember if when I get on the top of the ship, jump off to the left. Gotta imagine there's something there. You gotta imagine. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is so neat. Being able to, like, actually affect, like, the world. Like, the fact that the ship is actually sinking right now is so cool. That, I think, is... If, if y'all will allow me my soapbox for a minute. I think that's kind of what I was missing... Ultimately, from, like, Mario Wonder, is I, I kind of wish that I could, like, have, I felt like I was connected to the world around me a bit more. If that makes sense. Like, that's something that, that DKC does so, so well. And I feel like Mario Wonder was kind of missing, like, that sense of, like, I'm, I'm in this world and I'm connected to it and the things that I'm doing are tangibly affecting the world around me. Like... The, even, like, the, the wonder effects in that game are so limited use case, and, like, the world state just kind of returns to the way it was after you do them, you know? And that, to me, isn't that, that interesting. Like, I almost wish that the... Like, after you use the wonder effects, like, the whole world changes or something. But, you know, leave it to me to just continue to complain about Mario Wonder while playing completely unrelated games. Dude, let's go. These people are partying. They're parting hard. Yeah, Matt was right. I've got... I mean, I've got everything. Um, except for one. That might be, like, the 100% completion. Like, getting all the gold time trials and all the stickers and all that. Whatever reward that is. That's probably what that is. Kind of like the white and pink. Or maybe, like, this kind of thing right here. Pretty good. Yeah, Mario Wonder hurts the further I get from it and realize I don't ever think about it. I feel you, dude. 
is just a very like and, and I like the game uh, and I had a good time with it but it is I mean it's forgettable uh, which is crazy right I'm with you I'm totally with you uh, whoa look at how pretty this is oh I love this Yeah, it doesn't have, like, the, the wonder effects are cool, but they're, like, fleeting. And I feel like the ones that everybody remembers are, like, the first ones. Like, oh yeah, the singing piranha plant level was really cool. You know. And then after that, like, that's the one that I feel like everybody kind of goes back to. And then, like, okay. And, th like, there were. There were a couple of cool ones, you know, that, that I enjoyed. Uh, I thought it was a good game overall. I had a good time with it. Uh, and I do think that, like, speaking objectively, it's the best 2D Mario has been probably since Super Mario World. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't ever think about it anymore. Basically ever. Unless I'm complaining about it. And I hate that. It's not that it's bad, it's just that it's like, yeah, forgettable, and I I want 2D Mario to be more than that. I, uh, because I think that it can be, you know? Like, I think there is something there, and I think that's what maybe upsets me the most. Is that, like, it's, it's not like I don't think they have something there, they do. It just didn't go hard enough. Like, nearly hard enough. Bring in 2D indie folks to help develop the next one. Yeah, I mean, I think I just, like... I don't know. Like, I just... There's such neat ideas in there, man. The, um... Like, the multiplayer, I thought, was so cool and well done. The, uh... You know, like... The, uh, the badges, I think, were neat, but then you only use the badges for... You know... Like... A stage? And there are some unique badges in the game, but the game is not the game is designed to be playable with every badge, so they can't they can't like really make the most out of the badges either. So you have those badge challenge levels and that's cool, but there should have been like way more of them. Those are my favorite levels in the game probably. Uh Okay, hold up. Cool. I thought for sure we had missed something. I'm surprised that we didn't. Probably implies that this level is maybe a bit longer than your average level. Whoa, what? Saw the new generation of Nintendo get really creative with arms and Splatoon. It feels like they lost confidence when it came to something new with Mario. Yeah, what's what's interesting is like the um Oh dude, what? Oh hell yeah. Hang on, sorry. We'll continue whining about Mario in a minute. This is sick. This is what I mean. Th this is already cooler than basically anything that's in Mario Wonder. Yeah, we get a mech. Uh, hang on. Cool. Um. Oh, I think I gotta get out of it now anyway. Or do I? Oh, 
Oh, I can make that. Hold up. Hold up a minute. Give myself a little running start. Yeah. Yeah, dude. How cool is this? Yeah, I replayed Tropical Freeze uh, recently, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and it did make me, like, retroactively mad. <laughs> blah, 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 is loving this, dude. Alright, let's get in here, get my mech back. Yeah, this is sick. This is so cool. What a cool game. This is like Rampage right now. If y'all y'all play Rampage in the arcade, that's what it feels like right now. Oh what? Hang on. Well first of all, I need to get that coin. Thank you. Boom! Yes! Boom! This is so sick. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> oh wait, that, that plane had a... had a coin on it, I think. There he is. Yeah, dude. Been on a Godzilla kick lately, and I want a Godzilla game with this vibe now. Yes. What was that Godzilla game on like PS2? Like, war was it like War of the Monsters? Godzilla War of the Monsters, or something like that, where you just like kind of fight. It's like a 3D brawler. I remember liking that one. Is that what that was? Okay, cracked wall. Very good. Can't really reach him. Oh, now I can. Enjoy that. Destroy all monsters melee. That's what, I, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yes. Uh, Okay, I can still use the hook shot while using this. That's cool. Didn't realize that. Listen to that music, dude.
How do I get over here, though? Got to be a way to get over there. Oh, you know what? You can probably jump up that pipe. It's going to be hard to go back to that, though. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Probably have to replay the level, I bet. But I bet that's where it is, but you can go up the pipe there. This is cool. They have like a straight like running gun level like that. Pretty cool. Gotta watch out because these dudes will come from behind you, too. And that sucks. Okay, no, I didn't miss one, so we're good. Cool level. Last one. Sick. Oh, I can shoot their shots too. That's neat. Good to know. I will say, man, like, Devolver's games have had some really cool soundtracks lately. Like, Gunbrella last year, one of my, it was, I think it made my, it did make my top ten last year in general, but it was also one of my favorite, it was also one of my favorite soundtracks of the year, by far. Like, an amazing soundtrack. Uh, okay, let's get the bonus stage unlocked. Witchfire Bog. Okay, so that's not just a little cute environmental thing. Those will hurt you. Ooh, I, I love jelly. I love... I, <laughs> stupid thing to say out of context. I, I love, like... Uh, gelatinous jelly stuff in games. Like one of my favorite, uh, one one of my favorite D and D enemies is the gelatinous cube. I just love that stuff. Umbrella is a game that I wanted to love, but just never went back to it after playing the demo. That's fair. I mean, I know a lot of people who kind of felt that way about it. I uh, I don't know. I really loved it. Like I, like I totally understand when people tell me that they they like it didn't click with them, uh, but for whatever reason, like I just I really vibed with that game. I like I I loved it. I played it like I think I played through that game five times. 
in total, because uh, I just loved like the world and the mood and the story so much. And I actually think the the gameplay is really good too, especially like once you kind of get used to it. Uh, I don't know. I, I love that game. I know that game like the back of my hand. Like I have done everything in that game. I got to the point where I could play through that game in like two hours. Probably could have, probably could have submitted myself to like the glitchless speedrun category or something in that game. It feels like it went weirdly under the radar. Like I feel like I never hear people talk about Gumbrella anymore. Like I feel like, uh, especially for a Devolver game, like you know, Devolver gets good press as as they should. I think that they are, you know, one of the. I mean, if not the premier indie publisher right now. Uh, and I was a little surprised that Gumbrella seemed like it didn't do better than it did. And, I, and especially last year, I think it was hard for... I mean, it's always hard for games to stand out. But I think especially last year. Uh, last year was just such a great year for games. I think it was even harder Oh, we missed something back there, huh? Can I go back? What a neat stage gimmick this is. This is really cool. Can't bust out of it either. Okay, I probably can't go back. I probably have to replay the level. That's fine. Whoop! Well, I found a way to go back, everybody. Good news. Um... Thing is, I don't really know where it could be. Oh, there it is. Look at us. They told me I couldn't go back. I said, yes, I can. I just told myself I couldn't go back. I didn't believe. I really like that team too that made Gumbrella Doink Soft. I really like I like them a lot. I like their games a lot. I don't know. But I think maybe it was Matt uh, who was saying like I feel like Pepper Grinder is kind of what I expected Gunbrella to be, which is like a sort of, you know, very mechanics heavy, like level based sort of thing. Um, and that's kind of not what Gunbrella is at all. Like Gunbrella has a cool like core mechanic, but it is very story forward. Like it's about the narrative and the world. Like there's a ton of like, you know, that kind of thing. Um, at least watching you get the medals I didn't so I can go back and get them all for the Steam achievements that don't matter, but I still want. Hey, man. Nothing wrong with that. I'm happy to be of service. Uh, yeah, I think maybe that also had something to do with it, is I think maybe people thought that Gumbrella was going to be like more along the lines of what this is, and it's kind of not. So, yeah, I don't know. Nice. I love this. I love, like, the whole look and feel of this world is really cool. I like it a lot. Was the soundtrack also done by the solo dev? 
Because if so, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, you can edit this stream into a metal guide. You're probably, yeah, actually, you know what? You're probably not wrong. Just cut out the metals. It would just be weird because you'd have my talking in it. You'd have like random snippets of the stream itself. Whoop. Cool. Wouldn't be hard to make a metal guide for this one though. Especially like knowing where it all is. I feel like it's pretty, I don't know. I feel like the game's pretty like uh, straightforward. Pretty no nonsense. Uh, in a good way. Like I, I don't mean that disparagingly at all. I uh, I like that. Like it, it doesn't have to be, like not everything has to be these like 50 hour epics, you know? I kind of like something that's just, you know, no fuss, you're gonna 100% the thing in like four hours and be done with it and that's okay. Okay, we definitely need to backtrack a little bit because there's definitely something back here, so hang on. I just, I love the way this whole stage looks, this whole world looks very cool. I can probably jump up there with him, huh? Nice. Okay, turn around, go here. Stomp on those boxes for no particular reason. Other than it's just fun to do. Whoops. Screwed that up. Hang on, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Don't worry. Turn around. Go here. Go there. Love this mech. I love like the, the way this mech looks. I love the animation of it. I love the way it feels to control. Good mech. Top five mechs. Add it to the list. Have we done that? Have we done top five mechs? I don't know that we have actually. Seems like a missed opportunity. Look at that. Oh wait, there's definitely something over there, wasn't there? That looks like an area I can go down into. E Yikes. Well. Screwed that up, probably. But that's okay. ZC did the soundtrack, okay. Mechanica from ARMS is number one mech. Pretty good. Mechanica is pretty good. Certainly in the conversation, right? I don't know what my number one mech is. Yeah, I screwed that up. There's definitely stuff down here, I think. That's okay. I guess we'll find out. Maybe there's nothing down there. I've had that a couple times. So I'm like, oh, there's definitely something down there, and then there wasn't. <laughs> I do love arms. Helix is my main in arms, though. I love Helix. Oh, hang on. This will be the test. Yep. There's definitely something under there that I missed. That sucks. Titanfall and Titanfall 2, definitely. 
Although, if we did the list on all N, it would be for Nintendo mechs. But, in the grand scheme of mechs, yes, absolutely. Loved uh, Titanfall 2 in particular. Loved it. Gotta look out for any indication that I could, like, go into one of these pipes, because I feel like that might be a thing. Not look like you can go into the pipes. That's fine. Yeah, Kirby Plant Robobot, the mech. You're right. Absolutely. Oh what? This is sick. Hang on, can I can I make that chandelier fall on him? Let's go. They got like a rave going on back there, you see that? Got him. There's the last coin right there. I just gotta, when I replay this level, I just have to remember not to screw up that building with the mech too soon. So that's the boss. Let's replay this real quick. Mostly because we just want to get back to that point with the mech so that we can uh, get that last gem that we need, or last coin that we need, rather. I'm so used to gem because we've been playing Peach. But 100% Peach, I don't gotta worry about that ever again. We got it all done, we did it. Life feels hollow now, but we did do it. Whoops. Sound effects are so good. Yeah, the the whole like presentation of this game is top notch, dude. Like I love the the art of it, the sound, even like I I really I really love it when a game makes good use of the HD rumble and this game does. Like the HD rumble is great. Does Blaster Master count or is that more of a car slash tank? That one's weird, right? Because and Blaster Master, like, you turn into the tank, right? So I don't... Is that a mech? I don't know. Also, I'm just getting, like, destroyed by these dudes in the first part of this level. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Is Blaster Master a mech? I guess me mechs are what you make them, right? As that, that classic saying goes. Home is where you make it. Uh, okay. Here we go. Alright. 
Let's get through this. Not destroy the big building. Oh, there's like a dash too. I didn't even realize that. Look at this. Now we're cooking. I thought you had to jump to destroy all those. You do not. You just got to dash. Here we go. <laughs> I probably could have just done that. I didn't even have to worry about it. It's right there. All right, cool. All right. Final boss. Right. That's what I mean, right? Yoshi can be a mech. Absolutely. Makes perfect sense. Here's the Emperor. Oh, snap. Oh, wow. You and me, bucko. We're doing it. Oh, snap. There's like drills stuck in the wall too, by the way. Another thing I need to make sure I'm doing is uh, hitting him multiple times because you can do that. Okay. <clears throat> cool boss. Cool design. Oh, he got me. Oh, snap. Well. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Man. Someone came to ask me a work-related question. Can't they tell I'm focused on cheering on my friend Seth? <laughs> Maybe cleaned up. Yeah, you're right. The, the battle would be easier for him if, the, if there wasn't, like, a big pile of skulls on the floor. Yeah, just send them to the stream. Just send them to youtube.com slash allinpodcast where uh, we are streaming the, the hit video game Pepper Grinder. Now available on the Nintendo Switch. I'm sure that will answer their work their work related question. I'm sure they would be thrilled if you did that. Gotta really focus on not getting hit by those skulls. Skulls hurt, dude. Part two? I knew there had to be more. Oh, Jesus. When, when I die, not if I die, when I die. Well, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it does start me from this phase. Okay, good. Good to know. Jesus. This is intense. Yeah, nightmare fuel? Tell me about it.
Okay. I gotta really pay attention to my positioning with this. Because it's... This is a situation where, like, it's... Yes, it's hard to hit him. It's even harder to just, like, stay moving in a way that is safe. We'll get him. We'll get him, though. Very cool-looking final boss. Very cool concept. I do like that. I do appreciate that he does the Nintendo Switch noise uh, when he does that attack. To indicate that the game is now available on the Nintendo Switch. Damn. We got this, we got this. Because you want to, the problem is, you, you want to be aggressive, but like you also have to play very carefully. doesn't help that there is there is absolutely no help. My palms are very sweaty right now. Just in case everybody was wondering. Mom spaghetti and all that. Totally unrelated, but Mitch and I are chatting about setting up Carpool Gaming Twitch to allow people to use channel points to pull up a quick clip from a short. Nice. That's a great idea. I love that. Just on a randomizer? Pretty hard. Pretty hard. Ugh. Well, this ain't it. I'm about to say this ain't it. Use 500. Oh, specific ones. 500 points for Ube ice cream or 1,000 for Jesus weeped. I would like that, uh, especially for like targeted ones like that. There'd be a funny, um, almost like a sound clip, like how on Amanda's stream she has like the rip, you know, uh, sound clips and stuff. You could do that for like shorts clips. It could play, you know, Jesus weeped or even like get to the plot, please. A couple of those feel like they'd be good, like, Twitch chat things. Like, Twitch chat would actually get some use out of that. How many points for Ikba? Sean's favorite.
Yeah, I love that. It's a great idea. Man, that still hit me, huh? Tell you what, this guy's a real bastard. I am not a fan of this guy. It's mostly the environment. Like, I, uh... I'm actually not taking all that much damage, like, from him. It's mostly the environmental stuff. Like, just moving around this area is tricky. Oh, now he's going to get rid of more? Great. Awesome. I'm definitely not a good enough gamer to be able to play this game. It's not that bad. I don't want to restart because I don't want it to restart the whole boss fight. But I don't like that I already took damage there. Not a fan of that. Do not care for that. Uh, this game does have a demo. Um, if you want to, like... Ah, oh, Jesus. If you want to get, like, a sense of it. Um, it's the perfect, like... It's the perfect... It's the kind of game that I think needs a demo. So I'm glad it has one. Because you really have to, like, put your hands on it to understand it, I feel like. Ugh. suck we're able to get close we're gonna get him don't you worry we're gonna get him really well too okay This baby boy. You can do this. Ah! <laughs> you do not. You do not got this, as it turns out. In fact, that was one of the worst runs you've done yet. The self motivating did not work.
took damage somewhere. I don't even know where. There's there's so many exciting avenues to take damage in this fight that I, I literally don't even know where I took the damage. Dude, what? No! <laughs> he did not, in fact, have it. Story of my life, dude. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, no. Not like this. No, I might just, just die. Just fall. Okay. We can do this. Heart of the cards. Yeah, him him moving the platform there too really sucks. Get out, get out. Oh man. Just die, just fall. Okay. Seems to be a little bit of a limit on how much damage I can do to him there, too, by the way, which seems a little weird. I don't know if that's actually true. That's just how it seems. God, it took so much damage from that. Hang on, just, just restart. I do like to, in the beginning, chill here and just kind of hit him as much as it'll let me anyway. Wow, okay. hard. It's not easy. Man. Okay. Didn't actually fall there. Just took damage from the uh, from the little laser. Felt I was feeling good about that one too. I know I can do it. I can do it. I'm I'm going to do it. It's getting done. It's hard, but I will do it. Oh man, 
timed out a little bad. Okay, I'm just gonna, when he does this, I'm gonna try my best to just kind of like circle if I can. Because getting hit by that sucks. And this too, actually, is a good time to like circle. No! Oh man, I was feeling good about that one too. Okay, circle, circle, just circle this up. Don't let it, don't let it intimidate you. Circle. Ugh. No, get out of there. Man, just the navigation is so hard. It's so hard. Ugh. The trigger finger hurts. Half the battle is just like staying in the area. Okay. Did I get hit by that? I sure did, Jesus. There's, all, there's also, like, there's so much going on that, like, it can be hard to tell, literally, if I even got hit. Ugh. close. We're close. We're close to cracking this, everybody. Nope. Also, did the music stop for y'all? Because it stopped for me. I can't hear the music anymore. Straight up. And we had a glitch earlier, too, so it wouldn't necessarily shock me. And it was during a boss fight, actually, too. Okay. No! Yeah, the game audio went away. Isn't that weird? I don't know what the deal is with that. It must be a glitch, because uh, I can actually still... Hang on a second. Yeah, it's a glitch. And I don't want to restart it, because I think it might start me back at the first phase if I do that. So, uh... <laughs> listen to this... Enjoy this deathly silent... <laughs> boss fight. Weird glitch, man. Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! <sighs> uh... Super Nintendo asked if I could detonate the bombs. Like, I, I can, 
but like they're I can detonate them by like uh like them hitting me and doing damage to me. At least I think. I don't I don't think I can actually like safely detonate the bombs. Jesus. And also, it's it's weird because, like, I thought that I had, like, some immunity to the bombs when I was, uh, when I was inside of the little skull piles here, but I don't think I actually do. That's just what it seemed like. Yeah, sorry about the, the game audio, guys. I don't know. It's a weird glitch. I uh, I just don't want to. I don't want to restart this boss fight. If I was more confident in my abilities, I would. Oh. Okay. Yeah. See, like that definitely hit. Yeah, my, my stress levels have gone down. Tend to put on some smooth jazz to play along to. You know what I should do, actually? Hold up. Since it's not playing the game audio anyways. Let's play what I was playing. I still have it pulled up. There you go. <laughs> this is what I was playing when we were, like, just chatting. Some, some just smooth uh, Leon Chang music. What if it helps? What if this is the one? Nope. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Definitely did that a little too early. Get out! No! That was so good! If I had made that jump, I bet I would have been able to get it. That would have been it. When he does that, it's honestly a great opportunity to get damage on him. Uh, it's just so hard to, like, avoid taking damage. Ugh. Like, even right there. Like, really good opportunity to get damage on him, but... Also, I think that, I think that if I, I feel like if I hit the bombs 
Hang on. Let me, um... Well, I'll... Yeah, this is not going to be it. Let me just let him kill me, honestly. Um, I feel like if when I hit the bombs on the string, maybe it's not damaging me. It just looks the same as if it were. Yeah, I don't know if it is. It might not be. This run's busted anyway. Can I just say, I, I love the, the game audio right now being this. So funny. Yeah, I don't... Did that do damage to me? I can't tell. Maybe it didn't. Yeah, okay. It still does. <laughs> it definitely still does. Okay, never mind. I thought I was cooking there for a second. No! After this, he should come over here. Well, at least I thought he was. No, that was so close. Damn it. Oh man, that sucked. He didn't do what he normally does either, by the way. He didn't, um, he didn't go over and start pulling the, um, the other platform, which was weird. Now he is. Okay, that's what I was looking for earlier. That's what I wanted him to do. Damn it, man. <sighs> right when I get him, like, very close, I start falling. So it's so hard to contend with just everything you have to consider in this fight. Like physics and positioning and all of it. Very, very tough. All right.
circle here. Try to avoid this as much as I can. Man, and it's always, yeah, I hear you, Matt. Also, Matt, we, uh, I don't know how long you've been back. We hit a, uh, we, we hit another glitch where the audio just stopped. <laughs> and I don't know if it's just because I've been doing this fight for probably like half an hour, I feel like, uh, or what, but the audio stopped. So now we're playing like smooth lo-fi Leon Chang stuff while fighting this very intense boss. And I don't know if it's helping or hurting. Okay, he's over there. Damn. Great. Yeah, that's why. Game audio is just not working. Oh. It was a good start, too. Man. Okay, I'm just going to kill myself. <laughs> hmm, I remember this this audio being very different. I remember it not being like smooth lo-fi when I fought this boss. And I mean, I I probably could have put it on something more appropriate. I probably could have put on like the neon white soundtrack or something. Um but you know what? This is what I already had pulled up on Spotify for when I was starting the stream. And so, Jesus, uh, we're listening to this. Okay, we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna forfeit that one. That was just a wash. Oh, we got him! We got him! Okay, hang on. Is the audio working again? It still is not. The audio is still not working. Okay, well... We did it. Some audio is working. No music, though. Oh, okay. Only took 32 minutes. I think that was part-time. Thank you. Thank you all for believing in me. Nice. Music by ZC. PC and console porting, but yeah, otherwise solo dev. And then this is all publishing credits from Devolver. Very good, man. Yay. We did it. Fork Parker is a hell of a name. 
Yeah, so we could um, go through and do all the time trials. We won't do that here on stream. But uh, yeah, Tinsley PR. Shout out to Tinsley PR. Great PR firm. Love working with them. Nice. Well, we did it, y'all. We, uh, <laughs> with the exception of World 1, we basically played through the entirety of Pepper Grinder. And, did, and got all the, the uh, coins, too. So, very cool. I'll lotion up my tattoo. We did it. Great game. Uh, I loved it. It's, um, yeah, I mean, if you are into, like, set-piece platformers, like like Donkey Kong Country, like like a Tropical Freeze-style thing, um, with a very unique, like, sort of move set, uh, I think you'd like it. It's short, sweet. I want to say the game's $14.99. If I didn't say it already, uh, I should notate that we got the game for free from Devolver Digital, so thanks to them. Um, full disclosure there. But, uh, yeah, I loved it. That was great. Really enjoyed it. Um, the time trials are insane. I don't know if I'm going to go through and actually get them all. I might, just because I, I like the way the game feels to play. Uh, but doing stuff like, I can't imagine getting the part-time on that last boss, for example. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to try. We'll have to, we'll have to see what's going on. Um, ran into a couple of little bugs, but nothing too crazy. Nothing that, like, a quick restart wouldn't have fixed. The only reason I didn't want to restart that boss fight when the audio stopped playing is because, um... It is because I didn't want to lose my progress in the fight. Uh, but otherwise, no real bugs or anything like that. Runs great on Switch. Really good. Highly recommend. It's funny, these credits are all like Devolver credits and like PR credits. The actual credits of the game was the dude that made it and the person who did the music. That's it. Special thanks. Got Club Games. You love to see it. Made with Construct 2. I don't know if I even know what that engine is. I don't know if I've heard of that one. I'm really glad they put a demo on Switch. I was worried about performance, but it seems fine. Yeah, no, it's uh, the performance is great. Uh, no complaints at all with the performance. Buy some more stickers. Oh, wait. Hey, Matt. If Matt's still here, I think that might be the thing that you were missing. This? Yeah, it's just at that dude's shop. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just that that dude just has it at, at his shop. On the, it's like by the uh, the radio there. That's it. I do wish that you could find customization parts for the drill. That would have been nice. That would have been a nice touch. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You got it all. That's all of them. Um, the only thing, we have all the sticker pages. Uh, yeah, the only thing left to do is go after time trials. And uh, again, you know, if there was a way for me to like compare leaderboards and stuff, maybe I would, I would do that. But I don't know that, I don't know that I want to do that. 
So it sort of sparkles when I'm in a level. Oh yeah, look at that, it does. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's got like a like a fiery sort of effect. That's pretty neat. I like that. Yeah, sure enough. Well, that has been Pepper Grinder, folks. No leaderboards is a bummer. That'd be a nice touch. Maybe uh, something they can do in like a post-launch patch if the support's good. This also seems like the kind of game that could really easily get like a some kind of expansion, you know, or something. Um, you know, even just an extra world or something. That'd be cool. I feel like you could fit that in pretty easily. Or just Pepper Grinder 2 at that point. You got the engine in place. Okay, uh, let me go here. And let me get this music back. Get the, the soft music back. So that we can wrap up. Um, appreciate everybody for coming through. Appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. Fun little stream. Um, I say little stream. We've been going for almost four hours. But I hadn't streamed in a while. Streamed is such a weird sort of uh, past tense for stream. You almost like you, you want to say like strum. I haven't strum in, in, a, in a while. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I streamed. So it was kind of nice to get back in the groove and stream for a little while. Show off a really cool game. Um, even though we had a couple difficulties at the beginning, but it's fine. We overcame. We did it. Streamed. Haven't streamed in a while. Uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all for coming out. Uh, Bowza, blah, 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 Sean, Matt, Eric popped in earlier. Lockliff popped in earlier. Super Nintendad. Wilk was here. Mostly just a beef with Matt, but he was still here. Who else was here? The Don Rob was here earlier. Yeah. Very cool. Bowza. Shoutouts to Bowza. The mighty Bowza. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, quick PSA for those who maybe didn't hear. Uh, there will be no new episode of All In uh, this week. In, in terms of the main podcast. Um... Eric's been in the hospital. I've had stuff going on in the personal life. Uh, he just, like, he was in the chat earlier. He, like, just got home from the hospital. He's been there most of the week. Uh, so no episode of All In this week. We're not, uh, just the timeline wouldn't have worked out. Um, however, tomorrow, uh, like we do on normal Friday nights, we will still be doing our News Roundup Live. That happens at 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, what is that? 4 p.m. Pacific? Uh, so we're still going to do that. We're going to have... Eric will be there. Uh, Barry from Premium Edition Games will be there. Uh, so we're going to be spending some time talking about the latest Premium Edition Direct. And we're going to talk about some other Nintendo news items from the past week. We'll hit on notable releases like we always do. And that'll be tomorrow night. And uh, that'll be it for us. Uh, Patreon exclusive content <clears throat> will resume next week. So I thank y'all for understanding that. Um, and yeah, like and sub and all that before you head out. I appreciate it. Appreciate you for hanging out. And uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow night, I guess. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.